Welcome back, Crew Cats. This is Crew Corner upon further review for Columbus Crew SC1, Phoenix Rising Zero. If you enjoy what you're hearing, or if you uh, have any thoughts and heads on disagreements on it, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Right there, hit that subscribe button. And you can stay up to date on all the latest crew news and reviews from, from Columbus Crew SC for Crew SC fans, by Crew SC fans. Uh, so, upon further review is a segment where, after the emotions have died down, we do a rewatch of the match and take a more of an analytical approach to, to what we see and, and what we have found on that, rather than just running high off of that emotion from, from the game. Um, and upon further review for this match, the, the good was better than initially viewed, and the bad was a little bit worse. Um, offensively, the counterattacking looked really solid, especially to Diaz down the right side. You know, as soon as that ball got in front of Nagby or Artur or really to anyone uh, near the center circle, uh, they're looking to put those diagonal balls down into the corners. In this case, mainly for Diaz to chase after, he had himself a whale of a game. And I'm, I'm looking forward still to what he's bringing to the table this season. Uh, but Valenzuela got himself some good crosses in on the, the left side as well. Uh, he put the cross in that um, at the end of the first half where Zardes missed the sitter. Again, wouldn't be, wouldn't be a crew game if Zardes wasn't doing that at least once. Uh, but the cross from, from Valenzuela was solid. And with, with Valenzuela back in the lineup and him coming back up, that then allowed Pedro to cut inside and t attack the defense more head-on, similar to the way he did last season after Higuain went down. And once he got settled into that role, he, he had a lot of success in it. So uh, that appears to be the strategy going in this season, and it definitely looked like it was, it was working. Uh, granted, most of the balls did go to Diaz down the right, um, but when they did come into the left, Pedro was, was already attacking the goal through, through the box. Um... If this match is any indication, counterattacking is going to be the the primary mode of offense this season, which which does excite me because to me the only thing that is prettier than a headed cross is a well executed counterattack. Um, but it also terrifies me because in order for a counterattacking strategy to work, you need to have a strong defense in your in your own third, particularly on set pieces. And set piece defense on Saturday was mm, shaky at best. Um, you know, if, if we're playing up against some better MLS sides, you know, the the DC Uniteds, one, the LA sides of the world, whom luckily we doesn't we don't play this season, if I remember correctly. Um, but against some of the better MLS sides with the set piece piece defense we played on Saturday. Um, there's a good chance it's 2-0 going into the halftime, and then who knows what happens in the second half. Uh, probably the exact same thing since it's preseason, um, but having said that, just oppositional ineptitude is not a defensive strategy. It just isn't. Uh, having said that, up upon further review, I, I was surprisingly impressed with the quality of the midfield defense between, you know, Nagbe and Artur. Um, Yes, it's a USL side, albeit it's one of the better USL sides. Um, but even in the first half, which I would say was largely controlled by Phoenix Rising, they had a hard time playing the ball out of the back and getting through our midfield. Uh, having said that, with the times they did get through the midfield, they spent a lot more time in the final third, just with corner after free kick, after long throw in, after another corner. Um, but... The, the chemistry between Nagbe and Artur is already showing really positive signs. And it's, it's you know, it's making me forget all about that uh, that other guy who used to wear number six. What was his name again? Uh, something else I noticed in the rewatch was that Caleb Porter's attacking system and game plan is falling into place for pretty much everyone out on the pitch. Um, the big thing I noticed during the rewatch was that all of the players, once they got on the ball, uh, were instantly in the right position to, to get forward and make plays and really attack. Uh, having said that, the execution was still a bit sloppy at times. Uh, a lot of the balls played in were too heavy or they were off target. Uh, but 
that that stuff will come with time, especially with someone like Jossie's artist who's only been there for I think maybe a week or two at this point. Um, that that stuff's gonna come with with time. What's what's really important, especially again, and we've talked about this a lot on this channel, is given the amount of turnover this roster has been through, to see everyone in the right position so early on in the process uh, is a very very good sign. Um, now, as far as my, my dampener for this one, and I, I mentioned this in the instant match reaction as well, uh, it would not surprise me at all if this team starts slow out of the gate. Um, there's still a lot of tidying up to do on the defense and on the execution side as far as the attack is concerned. And the first five matches this season are New York City, Seattle Sounders, Real Salt Lake, Nashville, and Toronto. That is a hell of a first month slate. And I, I would consider nine points from those from those first five to be a success. So there you, are, you have it. That is our final take on Columbus Crew SC1, Phoenix Rising 0. Um, if you disagree or if you have anything else to add to, to the take on this, you know, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We are we are getting ready to head into the season, and we're going to be stepping up with uh, with a lot more content. Uh, the Crew Corner podcast is going to be moving to a weekly basis, and most of it's going to be just you know previewing the upcoming match, predicting the final eleven, um, getting together with AJ and re and. And, and getting things going. And we're, we're really excited for the stuff that we're going to be bringing to you this season. So be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Let all the crew fans know. And this is going to be one fun season. So for Crew Corner, my name is Matt. And we'll see you in the next video.